Senator Tom Cotton joining us now on Capitol Hill. Senator, good to see you. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. Um, how much do you think Democrats are worried about the legislative agenda stalling out? As you see that you know, President Biden and the White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, they're like shutting down any questions about impeachment. They're trying to focus on legislation. Good morning, Dan, and good to be on with you. Um, well, I'm worried about the legislative agenda stalling out when we should be focusing on what Joe Biden has done to create another migrant crisis at our border. Even the Washington Post and the New York Times, not exactly zealots when it comes to immigration, uh, have said we've got a surge in migrants at our border. We should be addressing that kind of thing. Or why the FDA is taking three weeks to approve the Johnson & Johnson vaccine or even have a hearing on it. Rather, we're focusing yet again on Donald Trump because the Democrats are still obsessed with him. We're having an impeachment proceeding to convict and possibly removed from office a man who left office three weeks ago. I don't think many Americans think that makes much sense. Adam Kinzinger, colleague of yours on the House side, a Republican, wrote in the Washington Post, my fellow Republicans convicting Trump is necessary to save America. And he went on, Senator, to write this, we'll never move forward by ignoring what happened or refusing to hold accountable those responsible. That will embolden the few who led us here and dishearten the many who know America is better than this. Convicting Donald Trump is necessary to save America from going further down a sad and dangerous road. He doesn't have a vote in the Senate clearly. What do you make of that from a Republican? Well, Bill, no one is ignoring what happened over the last couple months. And of course, it's going to be a part of Donald Trump's legacy. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that I believe, as I said on the day the House passed this rush article of impeachment, that it's simply beyond the constitutional authority of the Senate to have an impeachment proceeding to convict and remove from office a man who's already left office. And I think it's also a sign of misplaced priorities when we have so many other challenges on which we should be focused. One of those challenges is immigration. And you had a tweet that I wanted to just put up on the screen for everybody and have you talk about it. You said it's the Biden administration policy to allow illegal aliens to stay in America even after they deal fentanyl and heroin, commit fraud, commit assault, drive drunk, and launder money. Tell us more. Yeah, Dana, it is crazy. Uh, the Biden administration has put in place a moratorium on deportations, all deportations. So murderers, rapists, drug dealers who shouldn't be in our country to begin with are not being deported. They further are proposing that they will ignore serious crimes like assault or DUI when it comes to deportations. And just recently, we've learned that they are letting illegal aliens who show up at our border into the country without any coronavirus testing. Unlike what you have to do if you want to fly into this country on an airplane, or reportedly what Joe Biden is thinking about requiring all Americans to do to fly domestically. Just think about that. Illegal aliens can come into our country without vaccination, without even a negative test, but we may not be able to fly in our own country without a negative test. Joe Biden is keeping America closed, but he's keeping our borders open. Well, very interesting. We'll see um, you know, where, where these budget debates go to. I mean, there, there's a suggestion uh, that they're going to go for the minimum wage. I don't know what those do to American businesses across the country, but in the meantime, we've got this impeachment matter. Do, do you think this can be done in a week? I think it might be done in a week, Bill. It's really not up to us as senators. Uh, we'll be listening to the arguments of both sides. It's up to the House impeachment managers and President Trump's lawyers on how long they proceed and whether they want to request witnesses. We'll evaluate it at, that, at the time. Um, I think, though, today is a very important threshold question of whether the Senate has the constitutional authority to proceed with this trial against a former president. I don't think they do. Uh, I'll be very keen to hear the arguments uh, from the other side and see if any other senators, uh, what, what in addition to the 44 that voted yeah, with us last at, week, at the end of those mind. four hours, what should be, we, we be looking for then? Well, about two weeks ago, we had a vote on whether to proceed to a motion to dismiss, and 45 senators thought we should proceed right then. So I would assume that all of them will have that view today. Um, now, some senators who voted to table that motion uh, may today, after hearing the argument, say the arguments are compelling that we don't have the constitutional authority, and they may join the 45 of us who voted um, two weeks ago to proceed to the motion to dismiss right away. So I don't think it's a foregone conclusion that this trial will proceed past today. Uh, but we'll listen to arguments and we'll see what the votes are. Right. Senator Tom Cotton, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you all.